Hi, welcome to this operating system. It's 1904 Arc Linux. I suddenly realized that um, we did not have any tutorial about the small NeoFetch logo. So this is what we have uh, general settings and it's a very big one. And a few months ago we've made actually a smaller one, but it had never resulted into an article or a video. So here it is. So this application you're looking at is called NeoFetch and where is it located? It's located in user bin NeoFetch. So actually it's an, a file and a file you can open, a file you can read and analyze. And in there we've uh, asked, I think it's Dylan, uh, who is the developer of NeoFetch. We've asked, hey, can you include, first of all, our big ASCII, but also our small one. So this is the video about the small one. All you need to know is just type NeoFetch in our uh, website and you'll find lots of tutorials about it. But there is also always a help in, well, not always, but some of them here, this Dylan, right? Um, yeah, so normally there is a manual for a command, but not always, or there is a help. In this case, I need to go and figure out what to use. And it's an ASCII code from a particular distro and the name of distro is something I need to figure out as well. And then we're off and we can make a new kind of, um, well, logo. So if we going to maybe let's open Sublime, uh, again, Sublime text. If you open that one, we can open a file and the file we've just seen where this it's located in the user and then bin NeoFetch. So if you open this guy, what you do is control find Arch Linux, and you'll see that there is indeed something called Arch Linux small. It's with all small letters, so not a capital letter anywhere. This has a capital letter and this is what you get normally standard. It's this thing. But if you want something smaller, so you can delete some of the lines of NeoFetch, you can use that one as well. It's called Arch Linux underscore small. And there are many more. So if you can see, if you see here at the side to the right here, you see where it starts all logos of different desktops. Okay, so we know now what it's called. So instead of calling saying new fetch, we say now new fetch and something more. Give me the ASCII underscore distro called Arch Linux underscore small. And then you get this thing. So now it's up to you to decide which elements you want to show. So do I want to show the memory, GPU, etc., etc.? Where is that located? Well, it's located in your control H, config, neo fetch, folder, lots of logos we can use. So either use the one that's um, standard, that's this one, that's going to be the ASCII code, or you switch them and you have a logo which is one of these guys that you can include. The normally I think is the, the white one that's going to be active, but you can choose any of these logos as color. So in this here, the config.conf, uh, right? You can compare this thing with this thing. And then you immediately say, see that, okay, we have here the title and then the underline, the OS distro, the kernel, I don't want to show the kernel to the people. Gonna put it here, uptime is not important. Packages, whatever. Um, shell, I don't care. Let's stop here, let's do it again. And indeed, uh, lots of things, lots of elements have now gone and I can continue until we have something that we like, that you like, of course. Like so. There you go. We have now a smaller NeoFetch and you can align it or you can select whatever you want to show in this smaller uh, NeoFetch logo. All right, have fun.